Hello and welcome to Estoril for the opening rounds of the 2017 Euro Formula Open season. With an almost entirely new field of drivers, this season is the most open that we've had for several years. And with great strength and depth in depth and field, we should be in some great racing. So let's have a look back at the best of the action from the weekend. First race of the season and Harrison Scott bogged it down from pole position which gave Nikita Troitsky the opportunity to challenge and pass into turn one with the mayor Videnithan also looking to move clear of the Brit but it was Troitsky from Scott and Videnithan they made it through the first corner. The first couple of turns were clean but then it all went wrong into turn four as Daniel Frenenko and Pedro Cardoso came together. Frenenko tipped onto two wheels having already tagged Cardoso and the pair of them ended up in the gravel trap and that prompted a safety car pretty well. We did get back underway. Nikita Troitsky picked up damage to his front wing which allowed Scott and Videnithan to jink through. It's behind Devon De Francesco and Alex Karkozik tangled. Troitsky continued to fight on as Terran Reddy and Simo Luxenden also became casualties. Front of the field, Scott and Videnithan ran in tandem throughout the course of the race, with in third, Matthias Iorio picking his way up through the order to third place. But for Harrison Scott, having fought his way into the lead, he was not subsequently headed, and he took the first win of the Euro Formula Open season. And Mayor Videnithan chasing him home in second, Matthias Iorio completing the rostrum with Janus Fitcher winning the rookie race from Eliseo Martinez Morono and Petru Florescu. Obviously, I think um, it was uh, Florescu who got me into turn one and uh, Fede Aiken was lucky not to go around the outside. Uh, but I was staying calm because I knew I had the pace anyways from qualifying in the race once we done yesterday. Um, yeah, and then obviously safety car come out, fairly much being on the second or third lap. Um, and then I knew possibly this is going to be a good chance going into turn one because um, I had good power, so I thought, yeah, obviously, Take the car went in, lined him up quite well. Didn't quite manage to make it stick around the outside. Um, but then, yeah, next lap, I was pushing him quite hard and he made a mistake, which um, was obviously, yeah, it was good for me. And I got into the lead, and from then, it was just a straightforward race, really. Just um, pumping the lap times, no mistakes, obviously. Ed Aiken was um, quite close behind me, but no, it was really good. Runner-up in the first Euro from the Open race of the season was Amea Videnithan. And Amea, that was a, a super scrap that you enjoyed with Harrison Scott. Yeah, definitely. Um, it's uh, quite interesting to be in the same position about three times because I, uh, I had a pretty good start and was side by side with him and Nikita going into turn one. But that happened again after the safety car restart and again after Nikita made a mistake. So uh, it was a shame not to be able to capitalize on it, but uh, I think it's really encouraging to have stuck with him, especially given the gap in qualifying. Uh, and, you know, taking the fastest lap at the end there as well was really good for us. And this is your second year in the championship, second year with Carlin. Do you feel that you've learned so a lot since you started here a year ago? Yeah, definitely. I mean, it was great having a teammate in uh, Colton Herter. I mean, he was always on it and, uh, you know, I, I learned massively from him and everybody else in the team. And uh, we've worked really hard in the winter and the guys have been doing a really good job. Start of race two, Harrison Scott jumped pole man Nikita Troitsky as the field accelerated towards turn one with a strong start from the all Fortet row two of Jan Leon Schlob and Janis Fitcher, but it was Scott who led the way from Troitsky and Schlob was behind. There was contact between Mateusz Iorio and Alex Karkozik. It's the Polish driver Karkozik losing out in his race after a single corner. Contact further behind also put Javier Comian into the pits and brought the safety car out. When we did resume, Schlob was under a lot of pressure in third place and eventually had to concede after several laps of try to Vivacqua. The following turn, Jan Svitia then tried to make the pass on his Vortec teammate. And that contact was sufficient to damage Schlob's suspension and put him out of proceedings. The front of the field, though, Harrison Scott was in total command of the race and came through to score a dominant 
victory, meaning that he gets the clean sweep that wins the opening race, opening weekend of the Euro Formula Open season. Nikita Troitsky, a very solid second place, a rookie victory from Thiago Vivacqua. Janus Fitcher having two second places to his credit. Devlin to Francesco completing the rookie podium in race two. Very good race, obviously. This morning we qualified second. Um, and yeah, obviously we worked hard last night to make sure that I didn't repeat the start that I did yesterday. So yeah, got off the line really well, got Nikita into turn one, which was perfect really. Um, then I thought, right, this is the best time to kind of get into my groove and make a gap. But obviously the safety car come out. Um, but luckily it made a really good, good restart, made a bit of a gap. And yeah, from then I just touched away being nice and consistent, putting the lap times in and yeah, just fantastic result for me. Myself and um, obviously the RP team, we've worked really hard all weekend and it's great to get the two wins for them.